they'll say, oh, I could never do that, meaning improvisation, on stage or off. And we're able to come back and, and say to them, well, you do that every day because your life is not scripted. You got Lois, you got Bobby, you got Zap. Go! No matter, like, if you're using it for corporates, if you're using it for personal growth, it just, it will give you something amazing that you can practically use the moment you step out of the conference. There's a set of tools, a set of skills, a set of exercises that help us improve how we are connected to the world and how we can rapidly understand what's going on and what can be done about it. Beautiful. My name is Alan Karamati. Looking back over my life, I've seen three ways that many of us explore life. I'd like to go through those. The first way we explore life, I'll call self-help, or you might call it personal growth. You become, in personal growth, you become dissatisfied with artificial limits to your life. Something in you knows that I have the potential, great potential to be truly free, but I'm not realizing that potential. So in self-help, we orient ourselves by our potential. In my speaking, I wanted to really share, it's a little hard to describe, but I wanted something at a meta level and at the same time very plugged in to my everyday experience. All those still little objects, the thousands of things in your house or apartment or where you're working, everything that's sitting on a surface, all the, the wall painting, the paintings on the wall, even the walls themselves, all those silent things that you take for granted start to sing. <laughs> they make their own noises, banging, clanging. The walls are rippling. Curtains are swaying and swooshing. So you hear the earthquake coming. And then, when you do feel it, it feels, it, it can have all kinds of feelings, but the first thing I noticed was like an ocean swell. The ground was raising and lowering me without me doing a thing about it. Then it was more like a, me a mechanistic thing. It was like a machine. It was shuddering. And all of this was very confusing to me. I got disoriented by this. It took me a while. It really shook me up. But after a while, <laughs> after a while, I did get reoriented. I got more accustomed to the fact that the earth was not always stable. Now the benefit of this reorienting is that after getting disoriented, our lives become more free. We expand it a little bit in that switch from the old to the new. In my field, which is working with self-conscious professionals and helping them learn to enjoy speaking in public, Applied improv is very handy. The second is what I'll call spirituality. Now, I grew up in a relaxed religious tradition. When I was a child, I learned good morals, and I learned stories of great wisdom and love. But when I grew up, life seemed so much more complex and confusing and conflicted. I got disoriented. I went to the roots of my religious tradition to try to sort out this confusion and con conflict, but that didn't really help me. So, after getting disoriented by this, I started exploring how to explore. That's what I call spirituality. Exploring, how to explore, with no assumptions, no beliefs. It had such a deep effect on me personally that I realized, oh, this is where it's at for me. I need to be doing something that helps people reach the kind of transformative abilities or whatever, the, the benefit, transformative benefits that I've realized. The third way that I see that many of us explore life and that I've experienced personally is by participating in the arts. 
The actress Glenda Jackson said it really nicely. Acting is not about getting dressed up. Acting is about stripping bare. The most powerful art I've experienced has been really transformative. It clarifies something that's in my experience, some relationship, or you might call it a presence. If it all, all of it boiled down to one sentence, the takeaway would be, what we experience in improv is really key here. <laughs> Only in spontaneity can we be who we truly are. True spontaneity sets the, sets us free from our old orientations so we can explore life.